Welcome back to channel guys, welcome back to the another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about iOS 26.1 beta 4 and I'm using this update for almost 24 hours and in this video I'm going to talk about how these 24 hour went, how is the battery life, how is the performance and how things are going on so far. I also will be showing the Geekmas score so stay until the end of this video. So without any further delay, I don't want to you know track this video without any reason. So without any further delay, let's get dive into this video and see how things are going on. I will get into the settings and get into the battery performance. Let the battery stats load. Important thing to understand that um, just 24 hours, it's been just 24 hours this update is out and iOS always take a couple of days to get stable. So don't judge it that hard. You, you can consider it like first impression. Definitely after using it for a couple of days, I will be coming back with a 3-day review video, but it's just a 24-hour review video. Now, as you can see, today I used around 84% of my device, and for 84%, I got 7 hour and 7 minute screen on time. And for the 84%, it's a decent, I'm not saying this is the best one, it's a decent one. Beta 3 was giving much better. It's a decent one, not that bad. Now during this time, I use different applications like I was active on WhatsApp, Geekbench, Threads and some other applications as you can see. So yeah, it's a decent screen on time. Definitely it is not the best. Um, It should be giving the best one. So it's a decent, nothing that good. Definitely when I will test out it for a couple of more days, I will be sharing my experience. But for now, it's a decent screen on time. Now I want to get into the Geekbench Co. Geekbench. I want to see how the Geekbench because there is also a surprise. So I ran the test three different times. I want to share the first test. So I ran this right after installing this update. It was 3432 on a single core and 8490 on a multi core. A single core is higher than the average one. Multi core is also higher than the average one. I was not happy with this score because beta 3 was giving me a better scores. So after using it for a few hours, I ran the test again. Now when I ran the test again, I was playing Spotify. I was listening to a song. I didn't turn off the Spotify. It was running in the background and I ran the test. I got 3224 on a single core, 7895 on a multi core and I get shocked. Like single core is lower than the average one. Multi core is also lower than the average one. This happened literally for the literally for the first time ever that both scores are lower than the average one. I was in a shock. I was like, what? I thought maybe it is because I was playing Spotify. So I just turned off the Spotify completely. I turned off my Bluetooth and I ran the test again. And this time I got pretty much same score. 3306 on a single core, 7962 on a multi-core. Single core is a bit higher than the average one. Multi-core is still lower than the average one. But these scores, these both scores are really, really bad. I'm not happy with these scores. This is a beta 3 score. You can see what a huge difference in the score. But this is what it is. In usage, I didn't face any issue. But on paper, scores are honestly bad. I ran like GPU meta score for only one time. It was 27789, which is like a bit higher than the average one. That is decent. That is okay. But CPU benchmarks are low. Definitely, it will be interesting to see the CPU benchmarks after using it for a couple of days. So just wait for a 3 day review video. Make sure to subscribe. So this is all. So far, I discussed the battery life. So far, I discussed the performance. In terms of battery life, it is okay. Not that good. Not that bad. Uh, okay battery life. In terms of performance, in usage, performance is good. But on paper, scores are really bad. So this is just my first impression of using this. 26.1 beta 4 after 24 hour. Let's see how the things goes after you think it for more days. Well, that's all from this video. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.